down here. Um, yeah, I'm in the David Buster's, but uh, this is mostly the State of the Cross Town address for the Hate Cross Town YouTube channel. Um, as you all know, I'm finally just getting to back on YouTube after a bit of a hiatus. And this hiatus has been more of a focus on trying to figure out where am I going to go with this channel. Because a lot of things have happened over the last year that's kind of changed a lot of things as far as doing YouTube. So let's explain. Uh, first about the carnival. Everybody's probably still wondering if I'm doing the carnival series. That's a bit of a shifty because of one thing. As you all know, a lot of the carnival companies aren't letting people do on ride videos with their cameras. Um, I've tried it before, back in Royal Oak, back, I think it was last year, and they wouldn't let me. So, um, that's gonna, that hampers a lot of things as far as trying to do carnival videos. I don't know how I'm gonna go with that, but I'll figure it out when I get to an actual carnival. I may just do uh, a midway video or something like that. That's probably the best thing I would do. And just do a feature ride or something like that. Uh, because, you know, back then, again, back in 2009, 2010, all of them, where I was able to do those. I don't know what happened with this pandemic that now they don't, they don't let anybody rest. I know it's, it's probably a safety issue, and I probably know why. But it's not in my power, you know, to, you know, tell them that I could do it better than like that. I'm just gonna go by the rules, just go by that. But that, I don't know how long I'm gonna go to Carlos. Now, as far as the arcade business, this is a bigger, different story because a lot of people have done David Busters, a lot of people have done Round One. So the question really is, how do I go from here as far as doing arcade business? That's something I'm trying to think of myself um, how to do because a lot of people, I know how a lot of people, everybody's looking for these videos where they show about a game win the jackpot and you know so they can try to practice and all that i don't know if that brings up something good or something bad to the arcade community but i'm kind of a little funny about that because you know you don't want other people taking over for what you do you know as an advantage player to try to take over the game that you have. So that's another, that's one thing I don't want to do is show these videos, show how to win these jackpots, and then someone comes over to uh, a, a my location or whatever, or when I go somewhere and they're playing that same game over and over trying to win the jackpots and like that. And the reason I say that is because uh, I'm on a David Buster subreddit and we talk about things like this a lot. So we don't want to put too much information out there because what happens is that, you know, a lot of people will try to, how do I say, copy all people. So I don't know if I really want to do this a lot, but I guess maybe when I'm getting closer to where I'm finally going to be done, maybe I'll do it again. Or, you know, but certain games, I guess you really can't really copy off because it basically takes a lot of skill to do that. Or on some games, a lot of luck. You know, like spinning win. Spinning win, you know, one of those games, it could be, you may, you may have the timing right, but you may not hit the jackpot all the time. So that's another thing. Now, there are other videos I could do. Pokemon, I don't know really about. To be honest, I lost interest in Pokemon after after Sun and Moon. I mean, or or really after Sword Shield. I mean, I got a few. I got a few things. It's like every every time I got to a certain Pokemon, there's always another dynamic, which you know takes it differently and you know with me I like to play different Pokemon but when it comes down to the actual Pokemon community there's only like what 15 maybe 16 Pokemon that actually use in, a, in, a, in like say like a random uh, Wi-Fi battle because I'll go against somebody else they always bring either these certain Pokemon or all legends it's like why do you even 
why is it crying? I just don't, I just don't get it. So. Now, the, that brings up to a bigger question. What I could keep being on YouTube? The answer is yes, but again, my videos are gonna be probably going to when I win something. So, that's probably it. Um, also, most of the videos that I'll probably be doing will be on uh, going out of town or meeting people. I still get to go see Arcade Mac. Um, that's one that's one on my list that I want to do when I go back to Pittsburgh. But I got other trips coming up. Philadelphia, San Antonio, um, Southern California, Florida, maybe. Um, back to New York. Uh, and a few other spots. As I get ready for a lot of stuff that's coming up. Especially since the summer's coming up. Speaking of, speaking of, yeah, I'm doing this. Day of the cross town rest <laughs> two days before my birthday. You know how funny it is to be 44? You know, nothing different really. Because to be honest, I never really think I'm 44. I'm just a person. That's all. Age doesn't matter. To be honest, what you do in life really is the whole thing. Your age really doesn't matter. It's how you think in life. It's how you feel about what you're doing that makes it all the worthwhile. That's pretty much it. But this is all I want to do because I've been probably out of YouTube for a while ever since they uh, could be off as an affiliate. So like, I don't know. What do I want to do with this channel? So that's really, that's pretty much the whole thing. So now you know uh, what's going on as far as being stuff this morning. so anyway uh i do have a video coming up um it's about me winning ps5 at a, at a better place at perfect game but i also gotta tell you another video something i've just been four years in the making and that's me and my hate for that stuff. but enough of that i said what i wanted to say in this address hopefully you can still stay subscribed to the eight cross town channel or you haven't subscribed if you want to see more stuff or if you have a suggestion, put it in the comments and then if I come up, then you can subscribe to something like that. I'm not really, basically, I'm not really begging for subscribers. I've been doing this 14 years. I only got 2,800 subscribers. So if you, if you do subscribe, cool. If not, that's fine with me. But nonetheless, the whole focus of me was to get the address done to tell you what I'm trying to do with this YouTube channel or why I've been so far off as far as doing it. So anyway, this is Dave Cross Town. Have a nice day and see you next time.